Here's the first thing I took off that panel right here, which is this. I plan to not use this because now I have the trolling motor connected direct. This, I will try to put it somewhere here without using this plate. So that means I got to cover that hole up or figure out a way to make it look nice. So this thing is an aluminum plate that was in here. That's what I'm going to use to cover the hole of the front panel. There you have it. I'm peeling it off and it's a nice aluminum plate. So I just removed this panel right next to the steering column. Um, here you'll find the screws. And over here in this panel right here, the screws are hidden within the carpet. But they're right here. I got about four. You just take it off. You got all the wiring there. Okay, so you're, if you're wondering how I'm uh, doing it to take these off, not a big deal. Just get one of these or a standard screwdriver and I just slam into it and it'll pop off. I don't mind breaking these because they're coming off anyway, so who cares? So the process is a little hard to uh, do while I record. So here's what I'm doing to take off the lids. So check this out. You see the rivets down there? Basically what I'm doing is I'm wedging in a standard screwdriver in there and then hammering it and popping it out all the way. All right, so re to remove this panel, you got to take out all this wiring. They're all a bunch of plugs. You just pull them off their, uh, disconnect them. And don't worry, they have their, well, these are color coded. So these are yellow and red. You got an all black cable and then you got the yellow with the black. So just unplug them. You got this too that you got to unplug. And you disconnect the whole system. So this little cap, all you have to do is pop it out. Carefully. So i got to remove this now along with these uh, stickers. I do plan to keep them on unless I mess it up. So once you pop this thing open, you just want to like... I'm using a... 11 16 socket it's all blurry but yeah it's 11 16 you just turn it until it comes off and it looks like it's out just pop it out oh it's all in there somewhere here so then you have this Once you have that, you can remove this. Unscrew these right here. Okay, so I just took this thing off. You have two major wire, and then you got two, a couple of small ones here. This one for sure, the helm, I'm gonna have to take it off. And uh, like I said, you see, you pull these and you just unplug. Okay, so I got the, this thing I need to take off from right here. I just need to unscrew these. And okay, so I unscrewed the plate and now I just turn the handle until it comes off. That thing is lubricated and here it is. What I'm gonna do is put it in a plastic bag so that way it won't collect dust. And then cover that thing up so that way that thing doesn't collect dust either. Okay, so the last cable that was uh, hanging was this one. It's for my speedometer, and I had to go inside, take the whole deal out, including this, to get it. Okay, so I just removed the, the two bottom parts of the seats. The screws for these right here, there's one right here. There's four, one, two, three, four, and one on the side. That should disconnect this whole panel along with the seats. If you plan to change the seats, the screws are, are here. There's a couple. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's how you remove that. As you can see, that's another whole different section of the carpet. That's the rear deck. I already took out the carpet. 
There's no wood back here. Back here, there's no tape. Don't worry about any tape. We do have to take this one off. That's wood. And that's that looks like half of plywood right there. There's tape there, there. Not over here. There is some here. You can see why the tape ripped from here. And I guess water goes through there now. So I gotta redo that. The tape that I got is uh, four inches wide. There's tape all around here. So, and where the plywood connects here, there's tape there and around the compartments. Just around the compartments, not so much down. And there, as you can see, the plywood is right there. Now I need to take out these screws. So I took out this board in the middle. This board was really hard to take off because the screws that were on this side and here, they were so rusted, uh, the head wasn't picking up. So I had to carve around it. I began to, I used the jigsaw from the hole halfway. I knew there was gonna be a beam here. And then I continued and then I just broke it in half. That's how it looks. So, and uh, I didn't see any in the middle. No screws here. I used the grinder here, all that, and all here. Super tough to get this uh, glue off. So it took a lot of time there, and there's still some here, and I don't know if you can see, but check this out. That is kind of hard to take off. So this is what's under the front deck seat uh, base. This is the base with six screws. As you can see, that's the tube. And uh, I don't know that hole, that holes, I guess, by the company to allow that shaft to go further in, I guess. And uh, here's what the rest looks like. So what happened to this? That's the lid. The wood, the metal frame is embedded into that wood. So I'm gonna have to get another panel. Yeah, it is gonna be three plywood. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. grinded all this I grinded all that I kind of broke some rivets too so while I was at it I, uh, I just finished installing some that I took off while I was grinding it hard so the way I did this I used three different uh, types of tips for my grinder look at this I try to get it as close as I could I used this and then for the hard to reach areas I used this one then to finish it off, I use this, the sandpaper kind. I got like a, looks like a 29. Yeah, it's really rough. So for the next step, I'm gonna have to make a groove around the uh, compartments just so this can stay flush to this board. And to do that, I'm gonna use a router. Using this bit, this is a half inch, and I'm gonna go all around and it should stay flush. Hopefully, if everything comes out right. And with that said, let's get started. Remember, eyes and ears. I wanted to see what kind of carpet I needed. I got a from this website, BassBoatSeats.com. I got some samples of 20 ounce and 16 ounce. So what I did was, I got my, a piece of my carpet that was not where I would usually step on, and I compared it to see, you know, how it felt when you press it to see how much it takes to touch the bottom. And to me, 20 ounce was a lot better. 
if anything i would have gotten like 18 if there was any available but uh there was only 20 and 16 from this website so i got some samples for a dollar and a couple of cents each so for 345 dollars i got me an 8x30 charcoal gray 20 ounce from amazon.com I needed three plywoods. I got one for the center that was half inch. I paid a total of $62.45 for two plywoods of three fourths each thick, along with a box of screws, two boxes of screws, some long ones and short ones for the deck. This stain, this roller, I paid almost $180 for that. So for 30 bucks, I got me this tape. This is for windows and door sealing tape. This is gonna go around the compartments and around the, uh, between the metal and the wood flooring, along other parts in the boat. It's called Protectable Wrap, four inches wide. I got that for 30 bucks. It's for windows and door sealing tape. It's pretty thick and strong. And that's how it looks. For 12 bucks, I got this at Amazon. This is gonna be for cutting the carpet. And for 13 bucks, I got me this little switch. Also on Amazon.com. This is gonna be used for the trim, tilting trim, since I'm removing that uh, plate that was in the center. It would be on my way all the time, so I just wanna put it inside. And it has the up and down words. For $17, I got me this carpet adhesive it's for indoor and outdoor it's a one gallon and for four dollars i got me this adhesive spreader it's about eight inches wide for 21 dollars i got me these new cam locks they come with a key and uh, that is i did a little modification here not this one but these right here, you get four, but I only need three. I uh, bent it a little lower with the pliers, not a big deal. I got me a box of clamps, 16. I got two boxes actually, 16 in each, different sizes for a total of 18 bucks. For $3 and one cent, I got seven of these. These are a three by three and two and a half from back here. In case you're wondering, these are the two boxes I got. They're self-drilling uh, metal screws. And this is the size. These smaller ones, they go on the edges. And this one goes in the center. These are the longer ones. They're two inches long. Let me show you how they look. These go in the center of the main frame, away from the edge. You don't want to pierce through the boat and these smaller ones they go on the edge so so far that's all i got for this project as you can see i had a lot of leftover plywood with the rest of this i'm going to use it to keep the carpet down on top for the front deck i'm going to use a bunch of pieces so that way the glue can stick real good i cut a couple of strips this one's for the center compartment and I made two for the, the side compartments. So once I put the carpet, these are gonna push the carpet in.
Okay, so this is the front panel. Um, this is a switch I put, instead of having that metal, I mean that plate that goes here. I replaced it with this. I don't need to use the plug for the trolling motor because now I have it direct. And this is the tilt and trim. So here's an update. I already uh, put the carpet down here. This is one carpet right here. I, f I first started here. I finished that. I let it dry for a whole week. Now I'm going to set. I just did this section right here. And this last one. I'm going to leave all this for a couple of days. I want to get that glue to stick on hard and dry pretty good on uh, the surface. Okay, so that already dried, this already dried, all that. I just need to get two seats, do this and this, and then I need to get this one. There's another metal piece that goes here that the seats uh, hang on to, and uh, I need to carpet that, so that's what's next. This came out pretty sick. Of course, I need to vacuum all that extra debris that came out. That's the bottom part. I'm going to vacuum as well and replace the carpet. I gave it some extra carpet there just in case. I don't know how it's going to come out with that other plate. If I have to, I'll just cut it off. But everything else is pretty legit. This is simple. Uh, this is simple, just uh, rivets. And of course, I added the new locks. Up here we have the knee switch, down and up, nothing here like I had said, check out this sick work. I use this for the rivets, I got this in Amazon. This for rivets is pretty cool, I recommend it, I'll put that on the description box below. With that said, let me finish up these two lids and the panel that goes here. So here's what just came in, the seats, I'm about to install them. I really don't like when people step on my seats so I kind of just put a piece of plywood there and covered it with carpet and added that little strap to pick it up in case I need to put stuff down there. The list of materials will be included in the description box below. It took me about a month to complete this project by myself and the cost is about give or take a thousand two hundred. This is the glue that I used. It takes forever to dry. I think it's a good thing that it takes forever to dry uh, because you can uh, push down on the bubbles. If you get a bubble here or there, just push it down or maybe some ripples, some kind of wrinkle effect. You can just push it down and it'll stick like thick gum and you get a nice clean look here. Also, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna need three gallons, three gallons to complete this project. Right here in the front deck, I use two plywoods, three fourths each, and the one down here is uh, half an inch thick. So there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click like and subscribe if you haven't yet. With that said, thank you for watching and see you next time.